I need to save up the materials and cash so that Parker can rebuild the ranch. Then I can have animals on my farm too. Oh, this is weird. I could have swore I got a new shipment of chocolate bars in, but the box is gone. Maybe it was one of the kids? I've heard they like to prank people. Nah, brah. Emmy always pays for her chocolate with her allowance. She takes pride in her junior budgeting skills. Maybe I'm just burned out from doing two-a-day sessions this past week. I have the wheat you wanted. Better get that meatless grinder going. Or, uh, wh whatever you use to make Satan. Oh, yes. Give me a day to make it, then drop by my store for some fresh Satan. And in the meantime, fair wages for fair work. <laughs> Parker tried to pull me into a conversation about cherry blossom trees the other day. Like, yeah, I'm half Japanese and all. But no, I don't know the difference between Prunus, Kanzan, and Ichio. Parker really does love flowers, though. It's, it's kind of sweet. Kim's such a sweetheart. They're hiding a cuddly heart underneath the shyness. Mm-hmm. 
Quick! Got one. Bruno? Trying to catch anything in particular today? How'd you know? I'm angling for a few flounder. Fried flounder makes the best fish sandwich. It was my Helena's favorite lunch. Mmm, that sounds so good. Let me know if you have extra. I will. I will. Though, I'm not the best at cooking the thing. But I'm feeling a bit lonesome. I rustle up my own fish to make this sandwich. Reminds me of when Otto was a boy and Helena was still here. And life was just the three of us. So you're Fairhaven born and raised? Raised, yes, but I was born in Dresden. My dad fled Germany when I was real little. Do you remember Germany? Uh, all I remember is my dad telling me what his life used to be like before the bombing. That was what took my ma. I always thought Fairhaven was my only home. But now that Otto's all I have, and he hardly has time for me, maybe nowhere is my home these days. Your haven is still your home, Bruno. <laughs> even if Otto is distracted. I haven't been here long, but even I know your fishing shack is an island institution. Well, I am real proud of that. Thanks for the kind words, Tara. I sure am glad you're here. <laughs> It bums me out that there's no one else my age on the island. Like, I don't fit in with the kids, but the adults treat me like one of them. I'm gonna need to get a second piggy bank. All my savings don't fit in my first one anymore. I love working in my garden and the feeling of soil in my hands. I just don't like it under my fingernails. Some people think of craftsmen as being all right with dirt, but I'll tell you right now, the second most important tool in my toolbox is a decent nail brush.
Are your parents members of the League too, Cameron? My mom's interested in some of the ideas. She's really open to it. But my dad, well, he has some bitterness over how some League members treated him back in his acting days. I wish he could let it go. I love having a job that lets me enjoy my day. I've always been such a night owl anyway. Oh, hey, honey. Have you met my daughter, Juliet? Yes. She was very nice and welcoming. <laughs> Are you sure that was her, then? That doesn't sound like Juliet. <laughs> 